Hello everyone and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. This is Catherine. Well, happy Valentine's Day. The DD February art box is here and I'm making six different coasters using all the items inside the box, showing you guys all kinds of variations of beautiful coasters you can make with this box. So let's get right into it and explain everything you're gonna get. First of all, you're gonna get one heart geometric to edge silicone mold and one round geometric edge silicone mold, a half ounce of the hearts on fire glitter, one ounce of the Cool Hearts glitter, a quarter ounce of the Kaleidoscope glitter. You're going to get a full set of my alcohol inks and 30 milliliters of the white color cream pigment paste. So this is a pretty jam-packed, beautiful kit that you're going to get. They are available at dryerdaysartstudio.com. Everything will be linked below and you can get the individual items as well too. So if you don't want the whole box, uh, you can get them individual. So I'm showing you right there that I'm also going to be using some pinata white alcohol ink, which does not come in the box. You can get it on amazon.com, which I have a storefront in as well. And that will be linked below too. But if you love working with alcohol inks, I highly recommend that you get some white alcohol ink, um, especially if you want like the Petri dish kind of look or you're using a lot of alcohol inks and in resin, the white is really helpful to have. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of blast through some of these coasters here. Uh, right there, I just used a couple of drops of the Vivid Pink, the Vivid Purple, and the Prussian Blue. And the white is that pinata white alcohol ink mixed with white resin. Now this flower that I'm creating here, this white is resin, clear resin mixed with my white color cream that you're gonna get in the kit to create this flower. Tish from Naptime Creations makes really awesome flowers in resin coasters. I highly recommend you guys check her out. I decided here I wanted to add some of the white color cream paste with clear resin onto that one as well because I wasn't sure if the white alcohol ink was gonna be enough. So these ones here, I was not sure how this heart-shaped mold was gonna turn out. I decided to use the Prussian blue mossy green and the cool gray on that one and it's actually one of my favorites and so on these here i'm just starting out laying down a little bit of glitter first and kind of pressing it onto the silicone mold because when the resin cures it will be cured into the piece it will not stick to the silicone um, I am going through and adding, as you guys are going to see, heat with my heat gun. I mention this all the time, but please do not use an open torch or flame with any silicone mold. Thank you. It will help save your molds. So in that first cup there, I put in Prussian blue, then we have the mossy green, and then we have the cool gray. And that is the order that I'm going to put them down onto that little heart there. So I wanted these colors to be pretty vibrant. Obviously they're not gonna be opaque because they are the alcohol ink, which is kind of like a wispier look. It's beautiful, uh, but I did want the colors to be pretty dense. I wanted them to be bold and stand out. And I am just going to follow along with the shape of the mold here again and make that heart shape. And this is that Prussian blue. And we're going to do the same thing now with the mossy green. I really, I need to do more work with alcohol inks. I don't do a whole lot with them, but I just have so much fun when I incorporate them either into resin or just do alcohol ink pieces. And then right here, we just have the cool gray. And again, you're gonna get all these colors in the kit. The only thing you will not get is white alcohol ink. I'm just gonna hit with a tiny bit of heat just to pop some of those little micro bubbles that you can see they're forming. I don't wanna break up these colors too much. So just hitting really quickly. And then on this one, again, I am using the white alcohol ink mixed with some clear resin. So this is not straight ink. I have mixed it in with some clear resin. And 
And we're gonna let that sit and work for a little bit. Again, just really, really brief with the heat. And now we're gonna move on to the other one. So I wanted to do a Petri dish kind of look with this one. And so I'm just gonna do straight up drops of ink in there. I'm using the white ink here with a pipette. And coming around first, I use the Vivid Pink. Now we're using the Vivid Purple. I am also going to use some gray. You wanna do the white after each color. And after I do a little bit of gray, I'm also going to incorporate in some gold metallic into this one. Moving on to the third and final set here, I'm again using that dry silicone mold technique by laying down some of the kaleidoscope glitter right in the center of the round mold. And this time I sprinkled on some hearts of fire and cool heart on that heart mold. Again, doing a nice thick base of just clear resin. I am using Total Boat's countertop epoxy for this. This color right here is actually some cool gray mixed with vivid pink, just to really kind of mute down that pink. And we're getting a beautiful lavender color. You can mix the alcohol inks together to get some really beautiful colors. And then this right here is that white matte mixed with some clear resin. That white color cream paste from Color Joy. Just again, following the little shape of the heart here. So right here, this is a mixture of vivid purple and a little bit of vivid pink, and I'm going around the outside and then on the inside, kind of circling around that kaleidoscope that I had laid down. And I'm also gonna come in now with some Prussian blue and lay some of that in, in a circular motion. And then I'm going to drop on just a couple of drops of the cool gray, right here, just a few drops. And then this right here is going to be the clear resin with the pinata white again, in a circular motion. Same as how I laid in the ink with the resin. Okay, and I let these sit for about a day and a half. We're gonna demold them. So this is the one here that I kind of did in that flower pattern. Really beautiful colors here. This is really cool too, this side, I think. Just different, very cool. I would probably use a little bit less alcohol ink next time, but I think those colors, especially with the purple in there too, really giving some nice highlights and lowlights. So this is the one where I had just started with the alcohol ink in the resin and went back in and added some of that uh, paste mixed with the resin. And you can see the cells and just how much bolder that is on that side. I still think this side is really cool. Yeah, the sides are really, really cool. And just that beautiful, clear contrast, really happy. And then this is the one that was kind of like the Petri dish where we just dropped in the drops of alcohol ink followed by the white. I just think this looks so cool. I love the different size dots. You can see the gold in there. You can see the slight glitter of the hearts on fire. I just think it's really cool. I love doing the Petri dish effect. I just think it, it always turns out really awesome. And then actually this blue and green one, I was the most surprised by this one and really, really liked how this one turned out. And this is again where we laid in the alcohol inks that were mixed with resin and then followed with the white pinata ink that was also mixed in resin. And I mean, look at the layering in here. It, it really almost looks like it's alive. It's just so pretty, so, so pretty. The colors, I love that blue so much. And I think with the green and gray in there, it really gives some beautiful highlights and lowlights. Okay, and then last but not least, this was the one that kind of looked like a rose before we walked away. This is a day and a half later. You can really see how it's moved. My daughter's here with me watching me do this in the video. And I just think these colors look phenomenal. If I had to redo it, I'd maybe leave the kaleidoscope glitter out because I wasn't really sure 
how these colors were gonna look and I just think they look fantastic. I just think that is so beautiful and so dimensional. And now this little heart here, my daughter wanted to demold, so I was trying to get her in the shot. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I put a little reel up of her kind of talking a little bit through this and her little voice, it's just so cute and funny. But she's just really taking her time and trying to do it how I did it. <laughs> and this is just beautiful. I am so impressed. Now again, because we used that white matte, uh, the color cream you can see again how it's just a little bit heavier we're getting a few more kind of like cell definition in there and i just think it's so beautiful i love these so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video please head over to dryerdaysartstudio.com to get your february art box today there are very limited quantities but again if you just want to grab the inks or you just want to get the molds or you just want to get the glitter those are all individually sold as well so thank you guys so much for watching happy valentine's day and until next time keep on pouring <laughs>